Could you be mistaken, lost in how it ends? Cause only in the movies things make sense. Let every stupid story take away a doubt. Cause only in the movies things work out Yeah, only in the movies things work out So, the silent film. I'm sure all of you have heard names like Charlie Chaplin or Buster Keaton, and while these men were brilliant performers, they also had one other thing in common with their films. The ability to make the audience sympathize with their main characters. Their characters were often lovable losers who found themselves wanting something that they couldn't have, and while the hysteria would ensue, the audience would feel bad for them in some way. This became the formula for the silent film comedy.
presentation today is on the conventions of uh, modern day horror films. Now, who doesn't think that they know all the tricks that horror movies can throw at us? A character in an isolated location, creepy music, and a cast of creepy characters that we see chasing after them. And, of course, the twists that we never see coming. But why do these movies continue to work so well after so long? It's because they play off the real fears living inside of us. The movies just pull them out into the light. Who are you? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Let go! Let go of me! Let go! Now! Get off of me! Get off of me! Who are you? Help! Help! Who? No! Get out! Get off! Get off of me! What are you doing? Get off! Help! Help! Who? No! Get out! Get off! Who? Are, no! Who are you? Who are you? What are you? Emma, Emma, please help. Help me, Emma, Emma. No! Emma! Emma, no! Oh. <laughs> What's wrong? There was a rat and it scurried across the room, but it's gone now. Well, okay. You take care of yourself. One of my favorite movies of all time is Rocky. I just love the idea of the underdog who has to bite and scratch his way against inevitable odds. We want to see him succeed in the end, even if defeat and disappointment seem to be inevitable. But that's one of the hallmarks of a good sports drama. Well, that and a training montage, of course. Mark, these times just aren't going to cut it. You're going to have to pick it up if you expect to make this team. I don't. No, I'm serious, Mark. This is an embarrassment. You have to do better. Sorry. Hey, Mark, are you still in there? Mark, can I come in? Mark? Where are you? Oh, hey, um, I overheard Coach talking to you about like, your time and how like, you're close to not making the team and all, so... Uh, no, I sucked. Yeah, no, you didn't suck. Look, how about I help you train? Okay. Cool, all right, maybe tomorrow after school. Don't be late. You've shown me you want to do this. Now show me you can. There you go, Mark. Keep going, keep going. Come on, you got it. All right. Faster, faster, you got it. There you go, there you go. Okay. There you go. Come on, you got it. Keep going. Stop moving your arms. Stop moving your arms. There you go. You got it. You're picking up right now. There you go. There you go. What are you kidding? That's how you do it. You got it. Keep going. There you go. There you go. Hey, Mark, yeah. can you come in here for a second? Yeah. Grab a seat. Now, we have tryouts coming up, and I think that, you know, 
you might have a legitimate shot here, but you got to give me 110%. Can you do that for me, Mark? Yes, yes. Thank Let's you. Let's do it. Thank you. You're welcome. Mark, Mark, Mark. You're up. Everyone knows a teen drama when they see one. The stereotypical characters, the jock, the cheerleader, the nerd. The stock settings, a classroom, the cafeteria, someone's house party, the school dance. The themes, not fitting in, peer pressure, the crippling anxiety of not being able to tell someone how I feel about them. <clears throat> we generally roll our eyes at these types of movies for not being realistic, for being too melodramatic. But in the end, don't you kind of wish you could be in that world? You're crying? What happened? It's just, Dean asked me to dance and I accepted because it's Dean Burns, right? And he and Cynthia had just broken up, so I figured, why not? Turns out he was just dancing with me to make her jealous, so she'd go back out with him. And then she threw a drink on me and I wanted to go home. 
Well, let's go get our coats then. <laughs> to do that, you know? Cynthia's not my favorite person. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Thank you. Anytime. The best teen dramas keep their endings vague. The filmmakers do not tell us what's in store for these characters. We can create our own private ending for ourselves, if we want. And in that ending, perhaps we can find a way for our own longings to play themselves out. In that moment, our world and the cinematic universe become one. And who wouldn't want to live in that world?